There we go. Uh, this game I wanted to try out. It didn't look like super cool to me or anything. Like it has like that uh, old pixel style, um, but it has been recommended to me over and over again. And uh, it's listed as one of the top indie games of last year. So let's have a look. I don't know what I uh, what I need to do. We'll see. There we go. I put it off center. I hope that's okay. Because now I'm just like blocking zero of the screen. So that seemed better. Maybe a little bit to the left. There. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Oh, exorcism? Oh god, exorcism? Oh no. That was really, really, really loud. Let me turn that down. Um... Instructions to move use WASD arrow keys or left analog stick pad. Okay, that's it. Oh Look, I'm walking Let me get the apple That's it Okay Wait, how do I exit this? Oh no. Face demons and cast them out with the space key. Okay. Let's begin. Look, oh. That little floppy. Here we go. Uh, it's data, but- <gasps> Okay. Be gone, demon! Should we have gone left? I'll just keep going up for a bit. Oh, oh well. It's gonna be fun. No! Be gone! What's this? You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Me Snack. Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Straight past the well. Wait, does that mean I have to go right or. Because if it says take a right, then you're coming from the left, right? So. Oh, it's chasing a deer. Oh, do you think it's go up? This is the... Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, wrong, wrong section of this song. Dum. No, no. Oh. Fuck off. Oh, another well. Oh, maybe I went into a circle then. Yeah, okay. Let's go straight. Uh, what is he saying? I, it sounds like something is said but in reverse. Hmm. 
Let's go. Oh no! I need a key? Okay, we need to find a key first. So I just need to walk around? I don't know how I'm gonna find the key. There's a deer there. Hey deer. Oh, don't run away, baby. Oh, there's something here. Today I noticed Amy's favorite three tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and it, the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more obsessed about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and the religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. That's random. That was really close. Whew. Oh yeah, I should... Uh, can I pause? Yes. I should list uh, the game uh, as nothing, probably? Or maybe Faith is in there? Yes, it is. Oh, so one of you already said it for me? Because I think that's the amount of viewers we have. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, resume. He likes to... He likes to jump? What? That- Oh, I was looking the wrong way. I died. Okay. So... We got to the house, which is just straight up from here. But we haven't found... Oh, poor dear. Oh dear! What? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Let's see if it remembered. No. Bum. 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 Do you think the gear deer's guiding me? Maybe I should follow it. Oh, now I'm here. No. No. Okay. Not really, we're just looking for a key. We're not like collecting paper or anything. What's that? Chaos okay. Oh 
dear. Where are you going? I'm a coming. Demon time. Oh, now I heard it. He said suffer. Okay. Let's go one to the left and then go continue going up. Because it just loops, I guess. So eventually we'll find what we need. I love the music. Really cool. Where's the house again? Ah. Oh no! Smart choice for a song. No! God damn it. Hey, dear friend. I saved him. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. I wish the dude could run. Yeah, okay. One more to the left. Now I'm just being very systematic. Aha! Uh -huh. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gra gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark one night we arrived. Father, father, I can't read today. All red seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay, per the lay person. Ah! I found it. Oh! There was someone outside. I saw it. Ah! Oh, oh it's saved. It's saved. It's saved. Nice. No! Oh, motherfuckers. I could not react to that. <sighs> okay. Thank you for that save point. That's nice. You think it'll come from the right again? Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the d dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after- fuck, I didn't read it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh, we need to find the well or the house. How am I gonna find them? YOLO! <coughs> so 
Sorry. I don't remember how... Oh, there's the road. Okay. Ah, here we go. I think it's just straight up from here. to have you. Thank you, thank you. Thank ya. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Dum, dum. There we go. Oh, there was something in the house. <sighs> oh no. Let's have a look. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraint restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child could give you. A child gives you. Okay. Uh, let's go left. Bedroom. I don't know if I need to interact with something or just walk into things. Oh, that's what it is. It reminds me of like Atari, the old Atari console. I'm doing something with it. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was neat. Oh, Fritz, thank you. Wait, was there no sound? I didn't hear any sound. Thank you. Is this stairs? Oh, there they are. Whoa, that was late. That was really weird. Oh, I think I'm in the basement. What is this? Some kind of lever? Some kind of lever? I bet I can move these. No? Hmm. It's too quiet now. Oh, oh there's water dripping down. Exercise the washing machine. Is that a spider? Oh god. Oh no. That's not good. They're all gonna be moved. I'm sure. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Alred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we, could, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alred lying on his back unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, there's something coming. Ah! Oh no. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. <gasps> Holy fuck. Oh god. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up there. It was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I was first when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Whew, okay. 
Where is she at? Oh, this ducky. Is a ducky in the- Oh god. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. No. Oh my god, that's difficult. Should we go out? Or do we have to fight it somewhere? Ah! Oh! Oh. Should we go back to the basement? No, we should find the attic, right? <laughs> no! Fuck off! Okay. Maybe that door. No! Oh, oh, she opened the door for me. Here we go. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you that they're their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it for, for me first. A year ago I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her she managed to cut the power to the house. Her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having... The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Well, I don't think that went so well for John. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Oh my God. Was that zombie? Huh? Oh no! What do I do? Huh? Do I just have to what like is... avoid it? My God, what happened to you? <laughs> Eat my cross. <laughs> I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Yeah, I think I just have to avoid them and just do this as much as I can. There they come. Okay, time to move. Uh Oh god. Mm. Ah, I was facing the wrong direction. Oh god, there's another one. Oh my god. Did I do it? Ah, oh, fuck. Crap. Oh, yes! Checkpoint. Ooh, nice! That's really good. What? Oh fuck. Am I not doing it fast enough? I think maybe it's like uh, known that she will come from the opposite direction. So I just have to face down! Oh god damn it. Maybe I need to uh, dodge, yeah. 
Because I did do it pretty fast this time. Yee! Oh. Nah! Oh. Jesus. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because I'm an exorcist. Ah! <laughs> Let's try it again. Nah. Okay. Okay. God damn it. Uh, how long? Yeah, take that in your face. Holy fuck. Okay. More <sighs> this. Hey, Tom! Holy shit, thank you! Oh. Well. I had to avoid More her. This. Damn, holy fuck. Okay, so she's going along the lines of the star. That's pretty hard. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for that tier three. Oh. No. So what does she do? Oh, she just keeps going along the lines with the star. I just need to find a... Damn, that's so gruesome. Damn it. Dual wheeled crucifixes, yeah. No! Uh, I was hoping I was safe in the corner there. God damn it, it's so gross. It's really well done. Oh, god damn it! She went straight down. God damn it. Okay, I don't think I'm allowed to stand in the line that she sends out. Ugh. This is not far. Not close enough. Okay. This might be a good spot. Oh god! Oh. Oh god! Jesus. No. God damn it, I can't really reach her. Okay, now I can. No! Uh. Come on. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I was too close to her. Jesus, this is hard. Oh my god. Yes, I got her now. Damn! Heard her good there. Oh god. Yes! Okay. What's gonna happen? Oh, damn! She went out the window. Oh, I did it. Those animations are so cool. Holy shit. Oh, why did why does the middle one have a face? <laughs> okay. Those full screen animations are the bomb. That was amazing. I saw the dude even have merch uh, of one of the monsters kill her. Damn. What if I don't? A dog with one bullet. Oh no. And I just shot it. Okay, great. I don't think I have a bullet anymore. So let's hope we get a good ending by not shooting her. <laughs> Should we just go back to our car? Totally hit my cross up. Okay, so where is she? Let's not. Maybe she's in the basement. A dog with one bullet. Don't press. Okay, don't press space. Even though you want to show your cross to everything, don't do it. Let's see. Shoot the car. <laughs> the car was the devil all along. Okay, here it comes. Whoop. That didn't do it. Then where the fuck do I go? Where do we find her? Can we go to the back of the house? But she just jumped out the front window, right? That one in the middle, the top there, the circle. So... Where to? Go left here? It seems to be... the trees seem to be or different now. See? It seems to be sending me in a direction. Let's see... There she is. But should I kill her? Hey, 
Here, be gone! Is that it? I mean, I guess, in a way, it's good to p finally put her out of her misery. Oh, no worries, adventure. It happens. We're probably just gonna get killed by the same demon now. At the car. I think? Got to the car. The demon escaped. Probably. I think we're gonna die trying to get into the car. No. Ah. Oh, now we're gonna get arrested for the murder. Ending one of five. There's five endings. What the fuck? Huh. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. New York man is in, a cust in custody after he confessed to murder of Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Pal Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. Officer thought it might be poachers. Officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the office officer called, called for backup, backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward is taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further, further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl for, who had been missing for nine days. Oh, only nine days after escaping from a mental institution. Oh, okay. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the abandoned, now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, uh, Amy showed injuries suggesting she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Wart was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain the victim's trust. Oh, he's not a Oh, Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Oh, so the church is like, uh-uh, not one of ours. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, cool, I can just start here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's not pick up the gun and just go with her, go to her with a cross. See what that does. Nice. Let's at least see what that does. Uh, other than that, I don't really know what other endings I could get. <laughs> yeah, a head came out of her face. Yeah. <laughs> Exorcist the creepy picture? I did, yeah. Or the one in the hallway? I don't know. We're after the boss fight, so... Hmm. Hmm. Can't really do anything. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I have to bring the gun and then shoot next to her or something, like miss. Well, going to the car gets you killed, so... That's not an option. Or maybe now that we've seen her go to the car, maybe. Should we try that? There's an item somewhere you could use to bring her to her senses? I don't know, maybe. Maybe something in the house? Can you imagine a priest or being in the house and just like putting his cross on everything, just trying things out? 
Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. Oh, I'll ask Amish about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. So, is that the doll? Oh, now I see it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. The graves? We've been there before. They're not really special. But I guess I can check if you want. I did go in the basement, yeah. Oh! Oh, uh, that might be just because I didn't take that- didn't do it before. Taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical- as a historical cemetery. Uh, our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Okay. They all involved a gun. Okay. Thanks, Gretty. So, uh, what should we do? What's an interesting ending? Let's get one more ending before we move on to the new game. With one bullet. You can, uh, you can post what to, uh, what the endings are, Gretty. If they're brief endings, summaries. Hmm. Forest changed quite a bit in layout. Is this the way to go? Yeah. So that thing? It looks like a person. It's gonna be a bad ending. <laughs> ah, Jesus! Get the fuck out of me. Okay, that seems like an actual person. Should we shoot him or try the white monster again? Jesus. Let's get the crap out of me. Uh, I'll try the white monster again because that seems like a monster. I think that dude's just like a random dude. Might as well shoot him. Oh my god, I don't know. I almost hit spacebar there. Whew. Okay, let's uh try and shoot him. Did that do it? Oh shit! Damn. He did. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. But what about my the girl? God, in I, will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Nice. You have the Lord and a gun, yeah. Five of five, when faith endures. Okay. This sounds like a good ending, although we don't know what happened to the girl. Um, animal experts investigate Chupacabra remaining remains found near Sterling. 
Sterling PD is enlisting the help of a local animal expert of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some residents are calling Chukwakara, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by the mo mo by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want, safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote if it's a mountain lion or an exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies. We need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they comment commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. So nothing about what happens to Amy. That sucks a little bit. Oh, greedy. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I think that's good, though. I think 2 out of 5 is good. Um, if you want to play it yourself, I'll put the link in the video description for YouTube. Um, and my mods here live have the link as well, but they've already been sharing it. So that's perfect. Uh, let's move on to the next game. So thank you for watching on YouTube.